Welcome to the Automator Plus and thanks for watching our promo video. So the motivation behind the Automator Plus was all about tedious, repetitive tasks that you perform within Premiere Pro. Um, so there are a few things like beat detection or auto edits um, or just some finicky things with warp stabilizer um, that we've seen the need to automate um, to save you time, um, firstly to save ourselves time, and then we're like, hey, this, this is really useful. Um, can't we actually package this and create a nice plugin for Premiere Pro um, and get it out to the world and start saving you time as well. So some of the key features of shot selection is the ability to move the playhead uh, left and right by how many seconds you decide, uh, making a cut at the playhead, moving to the previous and next edit point, moving to the previous and next marker, and most importantly, actually moving those clips up and down and coloring them as you're moving them up and down. Another feature is being able to export screenshots. Uh, so you're able to add screenshot markers, then export screenshots at all those markers, or export the topmost visible clip of your entire sequence, or exporting the screenshots at the playhead. So I'm gonna hit this digit two, which is going to be exporting all of the screenshots uh, into this sneak pics folder. Um, and this is gonna be in the project folder uh, on, your, on your PC. Uh, so if I hit two over here, boom, you can see that the sneak peeks folder is actually going and being generated all of these pics. Uh, so this is going to be for all the top most visible clips of the sequence that we've got. Um, and over here we've done some shot selection, so it's basically all of these shot selections. Another super useful feature that we've included is the ability to do automatic beat detection. Uh, so if I execute the automatic beat detection, uh, what the Automated Plus is doing in the background is taking the selected audio, detecting where the beats are, and it'll actually add some beat markers to the current timeline. So as you can see that we've included these beats and we've also included the ability for you to generate auto edits on the beats that you've just detected or on beats that you've manually added. Uh, so over here, I'm just gonna go and hit this auto edit all clips on beat. And what that's gonna do is basically use all the clips on my current timeline and generate a auto edit uh, using small, medium and large clips. Uh, and you can choose to shuffle those or keep those in chronological order. So as you can see, it is adding clips, uh, using small clips, medium clips, and large clips. And each time it'll sort of generate a different auto edit for you. Uh, so this is great, generating multiple auto edits and just choosing which one works best for you on the beat. We've also added the ability to add multiple effects at effect markers. Uh, one of the most useful ones uh, is adding a warp marker and applying warp stabilizer to that marker. Uh, so if I go over here and add warp markers over here, it'll actually go and apply warp stabilizer to each of these clips that you've added the warp stabilizer at, at the top most visible one. Uh, so you can set all the parameters that you normally do in uh, Premiere Pro, and go get a cup of coffee, um, save yourself some time, come back, and Warp Stabilizer would have been applied to all the clips that you've added a marker above. If something has gone wrong with applying the Warp Stabilizer, like sometimes it does for some reason in Premiere Pro, uh, we'll also add a warning marker just to tell you that, hey, that Warp Stabilizer didn't apply quite well on that clip, go and check it out. Another feature is to add any custom extend script that you might find online into the Automator Plus and assign it a hotkey. Uh, so at the Automator Plus, we're keen to educate you on how to do this. So we've got a YouTube channel teaching you all about creating extend script um, and you can find pieces of code there as well. Uh, but basically you can get any piece of extend script that you can find online. Uh, so for example here, I've got uh, some extend script that mutes track zero. You can just go and paste that into this custom extend script, uh, hit update um, and hit that execute and then it'll actually mute this first track. So that's what this extend script does. But you can paste a hell of a lot of code in there uh, to execute. Another feature is the ability to add auto effects. Uh, so what these are is actually adding keyframes. Uh, so we've added a few default ones. Uh, we've put in some Ken Burns that you can adjust um, the scale and the position uh, for Ken Burn and also add a linear or exponential scale, uh, or you can apply some shock motion defaults that we've added. Uh, so for example, if I go and use the shock motion uh, one uh, and add seven over here, so I'm just hitting my digit seven on the Automator Plus, uh, you can actually see that the scale has been added and it's added this little shock motion effect. Uh, so if I give this a playthrough, it does that. Right, so we are 
definitely planning to add a lot more features, a lot more effects uh, to the Automator Plus. So every three months, uh, we'll actually be bringing out an update. Uh, so you can get the plugin now on Envato, exclusively on Envato, and definitely check out our YouTube channel uh, at the Automator Plus, where we've got all the extend script things to get you going. But also, if you don't know where to start, we've got tutorial videos explaining each of the automations on our website, so be sure to check that out.